My name's Bill Martin, and uh, I am the uh, half owner and uh, director of golf at Quail Run Golf Course. Uh, we were nine holes until last year, ranked as the second best nine hole golf course in the nation by Golf Digest for 15 years. And last year added our second nine, which we think is even more spectacular than the first one. It's the, ranked the second toughest course in Central Oregon with a slope rating of 138 on the slope, which is quite difficult from the back tees, but we do have four sets of tees. So about any caliber player can have a good time. The hole we'll be playing today will be hole number four. It's 500 yards from the back tee, usually plays into a prevailing wind as it will is today with a nice summer day. So it has a good fairway bunker uh, about halfway down the hole that can catch an awful lot of shots. And then the green is guarded by three or four bunkers. The strategy of the good player is to play it to the left side of the fairway to keep it away from the fairway bunker that sits on the right hand side and to try to drive it if you can somewhere in the 275 to 80 yard range leaving you with a little over 200 yard shot into the green and then as we will see as we go down the hole there is a large pot bunker that makes the green look like two greens because it separates the, the two sides of the green even though there's green behind the pot bunker as well. Any place on the green is fine on my second shot. Uh, really, uh, and the average golfer should do the same if they're trying to hit the green in two. Forget about where the pin is, try to get it on the green and put the pressure on your putter to see if you can two putt for a birdie from that point. Try not to overpower the, the hole. Try to play it as a three shot hole and try to keep it out of the white sand and uh, they should have good luck in playing the hole. 